All right, guys. Welcome to the Python for Engineers tutorial. Today I'll be showing you the Anaconda package and kind of what's going on with it. If you go over to the start menu and type in Anaconda, Anaconda, uh, you get prompt, cloud, command. The Anaconda prompt doesn't do anything. It just brings up a command prompt, just like what we have over here. So that not really helpful you know those are almost the exact same thing if we go over here and do it again we can go to the anaconda navigator now this is the default uh, navigator for the anaconda program it shows you what comes with it okay don't show again so here you see the Jupyter Notebook, the QT console, Spider, GlueVids, and then all the modules you have installed. Uh, if you know much about Python, you'll see matplotlib. So this just tells you what's on here, what uh, packages you can call in. But the home is where you can launch these programs. So Jupyter Notebook, you can launch right from here. But there's a big catch here. Oh, it worked. It must, uh... Okay, so it just opens from your default directory. Last time I ran it, it didn't even open. Uh, that's not preferable. You want to open up to a certain directory, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. The QT console is just your basic editor. And then Spider is the oh, MATLAB clone, almost. Yeah, and it has issues opening too. So I'll cover this on the command prompt. So this is okay. You can go and mess around in here and learn more about Anaconda. That might explain why, uh, oops, it doesn't work the best. It's in beta mode. So what I prefer to do is go to command prompt. Now there's three or four things that really come with Anaconda most basic is idle, I-D-L-E. So if you type in the program name, it runs it. So I-D-L-E, and there it is. This is the basic editor that comes with Python. So you can A equals five, A tells you what A is. Look at that. Close out of that, and then you can open another one. Uh, idle, we might use that a little bit. There's another one, Jupyter QT console. Enter. Well, this looks just like the other one. It's a little more neat. Um, the importing is a little nicer. So you can go, oh, I want to import PyPlot. And there you go. A equals 5, A5. So pretty similar to the idle. Close out of that. Quit. Um, if this is doing this crap, you can just do control C twice. So control C, maybe control C C. Sometimes you have to do that gets rid of that. C L S gets rid of the everything on the screen. And now the spider program I told you is like a MATLAB clone. You type S P Y D E R. And this is basically what the Anaconda navigator was trying to do. But if we press enter here already running okay so I've looked at my processes and spider wasn't running and isn't running but for some reason it reads that it is and so you have to enter spider dash dash new and that'll open it so here's a sample program don't worry about what it is it just takes some uh, CSV data and plots it F5 to run, and look at all those variables. Well, that's fun. The, 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 this is kind of like MATLAB, where you can see all the variables and what they are. Here's the graph. It looks similar to MATLAB. I prefer this PyCharm program over Spider because what Spider does, there's two other programs that do each part individually better. Uh, if you look over here, this doesn't really explain what's going on. It just kind of spits it out. 
So, that's Spider. And once again, to get to it, you go to your QT console, and you do S-P-Y-D-E-R dash dash new. Uh, try just Spider first, and then do the dash dash new if it's not working. And that's all I've got for now. The next video, I'll cover the Jupyter Notebook, which is what uh, most of the science and engineering people will be using. makes it easier to share and show what's going on. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.